Okay, so now it's recording with this microphone. I see the cable is a bit close by and now I'm only using this one light. Um, experimenting with this power bank where I have once attached, uh, you know, these kind of containers, silicone containers that you use for traveling shampoo, x-ray machines, airport things. I have no idea. Um, so you see now it's this kind of thing and I have like a blue and a red one of those. But let's see, I'm, I'm still experimenting with the light and the sound now. So, um, I don't know, maybe this here, or is this... Uh, it makes a funny shadow, and I don't see anything again. So I think really the best was to have actually these three light sources, um, two there. I just realized that, you know, on this second setting, they do eat quite some energy. Um, very often also with this light. Oh, I could talk something about this, um, this light here. This, um, you might see it, um, it's the Petzl Bindi headlamp. Uh, by, by now the, the elastics have gone kind of twice the length as it's, uh, was it used to be. And so I come a bit closer and stop um, charging my phone here with my muscle power plant at the same time. Um, so this light, it's basically my everyday only light source. Um, the other light that you see behind, well, you don't see it, but that comes from there. It's like hanging from the roof. It's a now light. Uh, so you can muscle charge it also with hand power. Now light, really interesting. Uh, so it's a satellite light from the now light. Um, so anyhow, I'm um, having this now light um, uh, very rarely on. Um, so usually when I'm like now first time for video stuff, but when there are visitors here, when we're more than two people, because like walking around with two headlamps is not, it's not really nice. You're always looking into a headlamp. So then I put this one on. Um, and But usually like the headlamp, this one, on the lowest setting, um, it almost lasts, I think it lasts me about a week. Just one LED with somewhere, I don't know, less than 10 lumen on the lowest setting. It's really what I use pretty much all the time only, even when I do wood outside. Any close proximity range work, you know, which is everywhere inside the yurt. And when I walk around, you know, I'm not like searching when I, you know, there is two brightest settings and the red light, which is also really nice. And it has, uh, it's USB chargeable, extremely lightweight, fits in a pocket. Um, <laughs> it was easy to repair. <laughs> I wish they would, hey, Petzl greetings. I wish you would come up with a little thingy that this micro USB port that is there now that doesn't connect all the time anymore as well as it used to after three years of pretty much everyday use at least in winter um, or in autumn and spring partly so this is really a daily companion um, very 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 sufficient light um, quite I think quite low use of energy and resources uh, very convenient really much more convenient than you know installing cables having light switches everywhere that you know you, yeah the light switch is always where you are and the light is always where you are and it's always shining where you're looking at it's so smart to use headlamp but anyhow that was it about this headlamp yeah please uh please send me a upgrade kit you know a do-it-yourself upgrade kit to change the micro usb to a usb-c charging port that would be interesting or like even the service to send us our your headlamps and we you know like maintain them uh, upgrade them um, service them right that would be really nice and much cheaper than building you was for us all together as humans hey though